right, y'all, I'm back home. I'm about to eat. I mean, with some good old unhealthy microwavable burritos. I'm about to scan in my receipts. My best rewards code is in my uh, bio for this video. It always is. I'm not sponsored by them, but I use them. Maybe when I get big enough, they'll sponsor your girl. Currently, I have 11,000 points. Um, and I have used them. Like, I've used maybe, I've gotten, I've cashed out a gift card like three times. But, let's get in my receipts from today. So, I got 25 points for Ross. And then I can play because this is my first scan of the day. So, that's where they give you extra points. So, I mean, I got five extra points. But I'm about to eat my food and I'm about to start packing. So the the package, the little bundle that Bay got from Uline came with a knife, a marker, packing tape, and wrapping paper. So that's great. I thought I was gonna have to buy some stuff at Walmart. I did buy some stuff at Walmart, but it wasn't that. I thought I was gonna have to buy some and I didn't. So that's good. So as soon as I finish eating this food, I'm about to connect my phone to my speaker, get the tools going. Actually, I'm about to um, walk down to the office and get our mail first. So I'm gonna get our mail and then I'm going to connect my phone to the speaker and get the tools pumping. I think I scanned this one already. I think I did, but let's scan it again just in case. So I washed my hands with soap and scrubbed my arm. As you can see, every other lipstick that I put on my arm is gone, except for the one I bought. So I am excited about that because that means it's gonna last all day and I need it to last all day. Okay. Okay, see y'all see y'all later. I'm about to drink some of the juice that I made. I didn't want to take them before I went out. But y'all, one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why we aren't staying here is because we have to go to the office. The time frames is like Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 8.30. So you can pick up your mail. And we have mailboxes here. But somebody keeps breaking into the mailboxes. As a result, they keep the mail at the office and you have to like go in there and show your ID to get your mail. Okay, well October and November, we haven't really been here like that. Uh, because we, I was what, October, I think I, I told y'all, I was in Aspen, I was in Bali, I was in Miami, and then I went on a truck. Okay, I have a Scentbird subscription. I did ask the post office to hold my mail for the, the time frame that I was gone in October. I have no idea where that mail is because this complex doesn't know which post office holds their mail. So I'm just gonna go on Monday to the post office that's closest to our house and get, and you know, see what I can find. So, this, they really did the most fun in this pack from, from the line. This thing got six tape rolls, one tape gun, one knife, and one marker. <laughs> like, we don't need all this for the little bit of stuff that we got in here, but, it was for, so we could build business credit, but we probably have some of this left over for the next time we gotta move. Let's get them. But I'm gonna go to the post office on Monday and see if I can find any of the mail that I asked them to hold. But um, I told them, you know, y'all don't know which post office I can go to, and. I didn't get my scent bird, my scent bird uh, emails for delivery say 
that they came here to y'all's mail room, okay? But the October and November are missing. I have not gotten my two perfumes from Scentbird for those months. And I said that to them when I got back. Whatever day it was I got back from Atlanta, I went up there and was like, somebody need to figure out where my Scentbird is. So, magically, look who got their December package for Scentbird. So when I just asked the lady, so you don't find it weird that Scentbird is saying that they delivered it to the same place, but I don't have it for October and November, but now all of a sudden December popped up? You don't think that's a little weird? You don't think maybe somebody stole my stuff? Well, no one has access to the mail room except us. Exactly. So maybe somebody on your staff stole my stuff. Which is lame because it's just a little travel size bottle of perfume. Anyways, I got my December fragrance finally. And I reached out to this Malayan, Malayan tiger. It's called Sanctuary, but I reached out to Sinbird. So maybe they'll send me the scents again or they'll refund me for those two months. I don't know, but. They probably don't, they shouldn't have to. They sent, they, they sent the product out. Mm. Ooh, that's got like this. Ooh, I love this. Ooh, this smells good. It's like a sweet smell, but it's got like a little sideways spice to it too. I love this. Ooh, I gotta look this up. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh. Okay, anyways, this is what it is by the way. Malay, Malayan Tiger. And it says it's got fresh mandarin, lush greens, jasmine, cashmere wood, and sandalwood. Ooh, Lord, that smells good. Mm, mm, mm. Anyways, this package that they bought from Uline, doing the most, has six rolls of packing tape, a packing gun, a box cutter. I don't even. I don't think I need this and a marker so I can label everything. So we good. I'm about to get it sorted. Ow! Look at me. I don't need a box cutter. I'm about to break my fucking nails off. I do need it. That was easier than me breaking my nails off. Idiot. All right, so. I love a good tape going. I love a good tape going. You know what I'm saying? But I don't remember how you set these up. I think you do it like that. So let me see if I can get this on there. All right, y'all. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, y'all. Just dropped this camera. I had to make sure it's still working. Anyways, I'm going to start over here. If y'all remember, we had this stuff. Because we were going to buy a big old desk from Uline. I'm glad we didn't buy it because who knows if any of this stuff would have fit in there. I mean, would have if the desk would fit in the new place. We still got this file cabinet for no reason. But since we never really unpacked this stuff, I'm going to just put it in a bigger box instead of these multiple boxes. And that'll pretty much be the dining room being packed up. I'm going to pack up this stuff on the table and I got to shred our mail. So let's get started. Why am I blurry? <sighs> there we go. Whatever. Okay, y'all. So it is one thirty. And what have I done today? It's been semi-productive. I just would like to say that last night I was eating some ice for you. I eat ice all the time. Yes, I know that might mean something's wrong, but nobody really asked y'all. 
I'm literally like a dizzy guys. And I had put the ice in the freezer because I wasn't ready. I ate half the cup and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna put this in. And so I was waiting for it to like thaw out so I could eat it. And I was like breaking the pieces with my mouth. And look. My lip was bleeding so bad, y'all. Mm. My lip was bleeding so bad. But it's like on the inside of my lip, so I just was like sucking it. But it was bleeding so bad. Anyways, that's my beets apple carrot juice. Already had my coffee, my bacon egg sandwich. I already edited a video and I already took a shower. Mm, that's not good. Take my vitamins. Coconut oil, vitamin C, and women's probiotics. If you ever have a, a problem with your skin not feeling soft, take a coconut oil supplement. And the coconut oil like works from the outside, I mean from the inside out. And make sure it's gonna soft because my skin I ain't gonna lie used to be a little rough but now since i've been taking that coconut oil supplement for years it's soft all right so i think i left my keys upstairs but i'm about to run to the mall because when me and bae were out on the truck he would have we went to macy's on black friday y'all know we ended up at the mall and when we were in Macy's, we were smelling fragrances because he and I, y'all seen our fragrance collection on our dresser. We really love fragrances, both of us. Mine is, you know, mine is crushing his. Which, two or three of them fragrances that I have, he bought, I think just two. So, the other ones I had before, he came along, so... <laughs> Two, no, three of his fragrances, I bought them. I bought his Chanel Blue. I want to say I bought his Givenchy for something. And then I just bought him a Giorgio Armani or something like that. So three out of them little bit of fragrances that he got, I bought them. Either way, he showed me a fragrance. I can't remember the name because it's like a very fancy name. But it's like those little colognes that look like robots. So I ordered him that for Christmas. And since I have to fly back into Atlanta and I'll be staying at his dad's house, which is where we're having Christmas, I'm just picking it up. I ordered it. I'm going to pick it up at the mall today. And I'm just going to put it in my suitcase to take with me when we, for Tuesday when I go back over there. And hopefully while I'm there, I can wrap it up and put it under the tree. Maybe not. But by the time this video goes out, Christmas will have passed already, I'm sure. Because I'm way behind on footage. I just edited a video and put it out from October. So I still have all of November to edit and then December. So by the time this video go out, he'll have got the gift already. And then I ordered my mom's birthday. She don't never want anything for her Christmas because her birthday is December 22nd. And I am doing something for her birthday already, like combined with my other siblings. But she had told me like earlier in the year that she wanted the Savage Fenty skin because you know, your girl's skin is looking magnificent. So she went to try the Savage Fenty Skin. Not Savage, that's the lingerie. The Fenty Skin, basically. I don't use all Fenty products. So I do use Rihanna's face wash and I use her fat water. Her, I would put on her face uh, moisturizer and my skin would still have like little dry patches. So now I use her face wash, I use fat water toner, and then I use this vitamin C serum, serum by, uh, I think they're called By Nature. And then I also use uh, CeraVe, Cera their moisturizer for daytime and nighttime. And I have their exfoliating treatment for, you know, my issue that I got here. So I use a mixture of stuff and I sold her that. But either way, I bought the moisturizer, the scrub, and the fat water for her. So I actually had that delivered to her house. So that should be there the next couple of days. I bought myself another fat water because I'm almost out. So that'll be delivered to her house. I'm telling her nosy self, don't open it. And then I gotta go pick up Bae's present. His 
gift came with a uh, whoever that brand is i'll come back on to tell y'all when i pick it up whoever that brand is that sells the cologne also the free gift you get is like a book bag so but it wasn't available for pickup so i had that shipped to his father's house so i'm hoping that'll be there too by the time i get there so i can just put them both together and put it in like a christmas bag or a box and then i'm going to the metaph metaphysical store because i need some candles and then i'm gonna come back here and work on my self-paced work for my second job and pack so that's pretty much it y'all for today it's, it's a boring day at the house which as long as I've been away from the house, I'm fine with a boring day at the house. Uh, I might put some more in here. Oh no, my keys are right here. Okay, y'all, so we off the door. I don't look at my foot to tell y'all if I lost my keys or not. So now I got this United keychain. I bought this like two years ago I was sent to Chicago to do a class and y'all see how the it looks like a oh shit that hurt Hold on. It, okay there you god dang it's like a seat a plain seat belt buckle isn't that so cool and then it says United so I went to Chicago to do a class and the class was like at their reservation center and I bought this it was like $13 but it's a cute little lanyard. Not gonna lie. Okay, y'all, we have to do. Let's go. I just remember that cologne is called. It's either Paco Romaine. No, I think it's Paco Robain. Paco Robain, and it's the little silver-looking robot. And like I said, it comes with a bag, some kind of book bag. I'll post a picture when I edit this. I'll find it in my email and post a picture. The book, the book bag looked like something he would like because he uses um on the truck. He has like a book bag that he takes in and out of the truck stops with him when he's showering and stuff. So I think he's gonna like the book bag. And then I forgot to say. I think I forgot to say. No, I did. I said I'm going to the metaphysical store. All right, so. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record in a metaphysical store. We'll see. I would like to though. This is my first time going to one in Houston, which is obviously long overdue. But I need some work. <sighs> I just feel like the weekend don't be long enough. Like, don't get me wrong. Tomorrow I only work office days, anyways. <gasps> So it's not like it's gonna be a super hectic work day, but still, I just wanna be off. I just wanna lay in my bed. Anyways, y'all, let me go. Y'all, when I bought this Macy's in the GPS, it said temporarily closed, but I don't know why. So I got my item. That's my bed. And it says that, I mean, people are going in and out. So I don't know why Google Maps says temporarily closed because I was about to get mad. But okay, on to the metaphysical store. Um, yeah, that's what I was about to say when I um, I asked the boy at the front, I said, do y'all have a um, protection candle? So he came over there and he said, they're all right here. And so I said, which one? It's a protection candle, so he said, oh, this one right here, the Archangel Michael. You know? So I did find, I just bought a black candle. And then I did find a, uh, I was looking for a road opener candle. But it's, not, it's not orange, like, uh, like Kiki's or like the other place we go to. It's white. And it says open road, black candle. I bought some sandalwood. It does say protection, healing, spirituality. And I thought Kiki told me to use sandalwood one time for a sweet change. But it also says exorcism male energies. So I didn't read, I didn't see that until I had already gotten the cars. So I was like, okay. 
but you know, I guess if I put my own intentions on it, it should be fine, right? Y'all, I'm talking to my mama, but I was just telling her from the spiritual store, I got sandalwood, but you put that on your candle for a sweet change. I got a open road candle and I got a protection candle. This is basic. I kind of want to leave it in this bag because I got to travel with it. And I don't want anybody to see it and be like, oh, let me get that, let me get that. But can y'all see? It's called Phantom. And it's a little robot by Paco Robain. Also, um, Bay and I ordered a gift for his dad today, um, which is coming in. Uh, to the house in Georgia and I'll have to show y'all that when it gets there but I his daughter sent a Christmas list and I was like okay I'm gonna help you get like one or two things off of her list so she wanted a purse she's only nine y'all so I found this little BB purse at Ross it's got like a little strap um to be honest I went to a ghetto Ross at first and I thought this was cute, but when I went to the next Ross, I found like a little Steve Madden gift set, and I was like, dang, I should have got her that, but I'm getting her other stuff too, so she'll be all right. She wanted makeup, so I got her this eyeshadow palette, these puffs, you know, a little padding. I got her this glam set. It's a makeup sponge, a brush, and then a makeup sponge stick. Under eye patches. Uh, a brow kit, which she probably won't be able to do much with this, but you know, she wanted makeup, so we got we got two this makeup, and then I got her these lip glosses. I got myself an eyebrow kit too. I only wanted it because it came with the wax, and sometimes when I be doing my eyebrows, they won't stay, so I put the little wax on them. But anyways, she has taken a liking to crocheting i think this is one of her little friends be crocheting so i got her a crochet noodle noodle <laughs> a crochet needle kit and i got her some yarn so her all of this stuff's on her purse yes so for me she's getting the yarn the makeup and the purse and then her mom and her dad will get what it matters so their gifts are done. Like I said, I ordered my mom's gift earlier for her birthday. I don't really think nobody else getting them from me. Because, you know, they're just not. But I'm about to eat and I'll be back. Alright, so I'm back in this room, y'all. Can't get away from this room. I'm always packing for something. My head cut off. So I got, the, I got this. Because this is another scent that me and Bae smelled at the mall. You say Laurent, myself. I think I'm gonna buy him this for Valentine's Day slash our anniversary. So this year guys, Bay is going to Mardi Gras with his cousins. And they're going from like February 8th to February 12th or something like that. And the Super Bowl is February 11th, and our anniversary is February 11th, too. So I was like, because the Super Bowl is like a big deal to both of us. We both really love the Super Bowl. So I was like, so you just going to be going during the Super Bowl and our anniversary? So, you know, he had to fix that. He said, okay, well, you can just meet me in New Orleans. So I was supposed to meet him in New Orleans on the like early morning on the 11th and we'll like you know spend some time do something for our anniversary and you know probably have like a little super bowl get together not get together but like go to a bar or something but i think i'm gonna buy him this for our anniversary slash valentine's day because our anniversary is february 11th and then valentine's day is the 14th so we decided we probably get each other two gifts one anniversary one valentine's and that'll be it so that'll be one of my gifts for him but anyways i'm packing for georgia 
because I haven't even been there. So I just packed like some night clothes, some work shirts, and some little lounge pants, like leggings, so I can be comfortable because I'm gonna just be at his father's house, so it ain't like I'm gonna be out doing that. I refilled my body wash and I refilled my mouthwash and everything else. I already got soap and yogurt and a bunch of stuff in here. Toothpaste. Yeah, so everything else is in here. Um, so I did decide the fragrance that I want to wear during my event is my Jimmy Choo. So I'm wrapping it in bubble paper because I don't want it to break. And I'm gonna put that in my little hygiene box. I wonder should I double wrap it? Alright, well there's my hygiene bucket. All I need to do is add my freaking my period is gonna come on when I fly out. It's supposed to, it's scheduled to come on the day that I fly out. And I realized I didn't have any pads, so I just went to Walmart literally like five minutes ago and bought some more pads. And I got tampons. But I ordered this scarf for my event. It goes with my outfit. By the way, my outfit is already in Georgia because somebody had it dropped in there. I got the shoes that I bought. And the nails that I bought for the event. Put them on that morning. And then, let me see. I need to go get the nail glue. So those are impressed nails. I like those because they already have adhesive in them. So then when you add glue to them, they be like even better. So this is the stuff that I got for Bay's daughter today. So I'm gonna leave it in the bag. And put it in my suitcase. This stuff, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to wrap it or something when I get there. Uh, this is her little purse. And this is Bay's uh, perfume or cologne. I was like, yeah, that's fine. I had got bubble wrap for it, but I think it should be fine in this bag. I just, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in here so it's not moving around so much. But. So I need to get my nail glue, my earrings, because I got some special earrings I'm going to wear that matches this watch for my event. So I'm going to throw the earrings in there. And then I got this makeup bag. Put all my makeup. So that's not a lot of stuff. If you look at it, I just got this a little undies and pads in this. But if you guys um were wondering why I'm oh. Oh, you got the earrings. Look at that. So I got these little hoops, but they're like pearl studded hoops. If y'all were wondering why I'm bringing this big suitcase for this little bit of stuff, because when I come back, I'm going to have Annie with me. So I'm going to have to put her bed, her food, her bowls in here. Yeah. So all of that's gonna have to fit in here. 
Plus, I left a couple of shirts and stuff at Bay's house that couldn't fit in my suitcase last time. So I'm gonna add those clothes and then add her bed, her blanket, her food, and then she has like a little a little bag too with all her medicine and stuff in it. So all of that's gonna go in my suitcase and it's gonna be, you know, because I don't wanna have to carry, I won't have to carry anything but her in my book bag. So everything is gonna fit in the suitcase, which is great. Oh yeah, I'm gonna add these shoes. My oats. Adding my oats. And adding these little Nike van shoes I got. And then that's it. And then she's gonna her stuff will be in there. Um, hold on, I need to grab my nail glue. All right, when I go, I'll be going to Georgia. Y'all know when I went to Aspen, I forgot my dang coat. So I'm gonna put my coat on top of this suitcase, so I don't forget it. Bringing grease so I can grease my scalp so it don't be looking so dry. The day before my event, I'm gonna grease the night before. When I tie my hair down, I'm gonna grease my scalp. Mm. And then like I said, my nails already have adhesive on them and I just like to add glue as well so that they stay extra long. And then this is like the brush on glue. Cause you know with the regular super glue, you like put a dab and push it. And sometimes when you have like nails that are clear at the bottom or what is it? French tip, then you can see the dab. So if I just paint this glue on, Hopefully you won't be able to see the glue. So I'm taking this mirror out because I need to near my pits. And I'm gonna go downstairs and do my little work on my candles. And then I guess, like I said, I've been supposed to be doing my self face work for work all day and I have it. But I'm gonna try to pack a little bit more of this stuff downstairs. For the most part, I already got a lot of it packed so it's not like we had much stuff in this place anyway my girl is doing vlogmas i was watching her video and i got distracted let me show you let me see where you at honey my girl does the rain. So this is my friend. When I lived in, when I was living in Georgia, she has started treating my hair. She was doing like a aloe treatment on my hair, and she was like trimming it, pressing it out for me, my real hair. And then I moved from Georgia, so she never got to like finish grooming my hair. But I had somebody doing it for me in Charleston too. But me and her became friends from that, and we're both like on this YouTube journey together. She has 235 subscribers right now. I have 242. But we literally like started the YouTube thing like right around the same time. So hers is called the Desiree Life. I'm gonna pop her name in. But go follow her. I'm gonna finish watching her video. This is her winter hygiene routine. So go follow her. And yeah, I'm gonna finish watching and get myself together because I got stuff to do. See, I'm about to set up my candles. Um, I believe it's in being spiritual. I don't know if you do, but I do. So one thing that you should do when you are doing candle work is write out your intentions. So I got a open road candle for something I don't want to talk about yet. And then I got a protection candle just for protection. So I'm going to write out like what I want protected, which is basically just me and my family. 
from any inside outside enemies you know known and unknown all of that whenever you want to change in your life you can add sandalwood to your camera to make your camera to your candle to make it a sweet change so i'll be adding some sandalwood and you could put a little drizzle of honey too if you want to make it a sweet change uh, one thing I want to get back into that I haven't been doing and I kind of want to like get back to myself so like I lost a lot of weight I had a tummy tuck I did weight loss surgery I got in a relationship I moved to a new city so I want to get back to journaling and reading so I have this book by Louise Hay I also have my little journals from my bookie Glamazon Tay and I'm just hoping to getting back to reading and journaling and manifesting and doing my candle work so that's what I'm about to do And this right here is my grandpa's ashes. I usually like to add a little teacup candle so he could be there with my candles helping them work. Do your thing, Gramps. I know you got me. <laughs> 